I have been asked this question numerous times and the question is how do you delete your browsing data when you've used Microsoft Edge? Just incidentally Microsoft Edge if you don't know what it is is a web browser allowing you to use surf the internet go onto different web pages and what I'm going to do in this video is show you how a quick way of how to delete the browsing data if you don't want your passwords to be seen by anybody or anything like that if somebody else uses your computer you don't want them knowing what confident get confidential information you're putting into websites or what websites you visited this is a really good way of keeping your privacy intact so uh, before I do continue uh, please like subscribe and share So I've got Microsoft Edge opened up here. The version I'm using is the one for Windows 10 and this works in Windows 11 as well. So in Microsoft Edge, top right hand corner, go to settings and more here. Click on those three dots here. And when this drop down opens up, scroll down to the settings option here where you see this cog. Click on that and it will open up this settings page. On the left side here, um, at the moment profiles has been selected go to privacy here privacy search and services click on that option there there you go so now we are in the privacy section privacy and the browsing control section the first option just an FYI really make sure you select um, which trackers you are preventing by choosing one of the three options here so you want basic option uh, which allows most trackers from all, all sites do you want the balance which is a recommended option which is currently set on my PC or do you want the strict one, a strict one here so it blocks the majority of trackers from all sites um, so it's up to you entirely which one you choose from these three um, but that's your call scroll down further this is the option we need for this video clear browsing data now just an FYI in Microsoft Edge I've logged in to my Microsoft account so my profile is on this Microsoft Edge account on my device because I'm the only one who uses this PC. Now, when you ch when you have logged on with a profile, when you clear browsing data here, it will only clear the browsing data from that profile. So if I'd logged on, logged off this profile and logged into another one, I would need to clear the browsing data on each of those profiles as well. So at the moment, what you've got to understand because I've logged into this profile it will only clear the browsing data on the profile I've currently logged into um, two options you will see so when you clear the browsing data you need to read this it includes history passwords cookies and more I like to delete my browsing data because sometimes I put my passwords in and um, I, w I just want that information to go if just in case somebody else uses a, a computer um, remember only data from this profile will be deleted and you can also manage your data there so what we're going to do is clear the browsing data now choose this option here choose what to clear click on that and it will come up with this pop-up box here now from here you can choose different options you want to include or um, exclude from what's what you want deleting at the moment um, browsing history I've not visited anything because I don't really use Microsoft Edge I use Google Chrome um, so I've, I've selected that anyway downloaded history I've not downloaded anything from edge cookies actually um, there are cookies files which are saved from seven sites okay so I want those going um, and also this one here cached images and files so obviously whenever you visit a website it, it puts the cached image or file onto your computer so I can get rid of those on the computer saving myself some disk space this one's an important one so at the moment um, Microsoft Edge has got seven passwords stored for me, one from Virgin Media, one from Roblox, which is what my son uses, and some other sites. So I can get rid of that, just in case somebody external is using my PC and doesn't get hold of my passwords. And then other options there you can see as well. You can just um, um, enable, disable, whichever you want. But this drop down is really good because you can delete everything which is browsed in the last hour, in the 20, last 24 hours, in the last seven hour, days, last four weeks, or everything since you've uh, opened up Microsoft Edge. And then you simply clear, click on clear now. Yeah, you can either click on clear now. Let's click on clear now. Um, so it should have deleted everything. Um, and there you have it that's a really good easy video look if I go back into here you can see those cookies have been deleted now because it's got nothing there and the cached images and files have been deleted there as well 
Yeah, and the second option I wanted to show you is choose what to clear every time you close a browser. Click on that, and then what you can choose here, you can get Microsoft Edge or set it to every time you exit the browser, does it automatically clear your browsing history? You can either enable or disable that. Does it automatically delete your download history? Does it automatically delete? It's self-explanatory, I think. And you can specify which ones you don't want it to clear. Do you want it to down, um, delete your cached images and files, passwords, auto fill form data and site permission so you can choose from here which options every time you exit you click on this cross which ones of which one of these options Microsoft Edge um, deletes upon exit uh, from these options here so that was just a quick and easy video showing you really first and foremost um, a bit about the tracking um, how to clear your browsing data by clicking this choose what to clear option here and then upon exit every time you close a browser which options you want edge to delete upon exit and you can choose that customize that i hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share